Welcome back, Commanders. My name is Commander Hobbs, and I'm very excited to bring to you this last proficiency video for our beginner series, or our beginner training sequence that we go through. If you haven't gotten a chance to check out the previous four videos, please do so. The exercises in this video are very much built off of what we've learned in those previous videos. If you've been working hard on the previous exercises that we've been going over and you complete these exercises in this video, well, guess what? I consider you a graduate of the Beginner Flight Assist Off Academy. Proficiency 5 contains two separate exercises that are very useful for your everyday life flying with Flight Assist Off. And the last one is a really good proof for you of the work that you've done in the previous exercises. My hope is that at the end of this video, you feel a great sense of accomplishment at what you've achieved, especially if you've been following all of the videos and all of the exercises and really put your heart into practicing those exercises. I also hope that you're enjoying Flight Assist Off more inside of Elite and that you are able to do more things with it and not be so frustrated when you're trying different things with Flight Assist Off or whether you're toggling or flying fully with Flight Assist Off. Either way, I hope that this has sort of instilled both a sense of appreciation for the skill that it takes and the dedication that it takes to become proficient at this skill. And I hope that it gives you a sort of tool set that you can use to do whatever you want um, inside of the Elite Universe. So our video today is comprised of two basic exercises. Each one we're going to approach from the beginning and work up to a more difficult version of itself. The first one has to do with smuggling and some of the skills that are required to really become efficient at that skill. It will also help you fly better because you're gonna to have to think about things and sort of juggle additional pieces in your mind. So it's a really good exercise to, to practice at any moment in your career. And the second, the last exercise, is more of a test for you to pass. Just a quick note that after this video is completed, I'm going to put out some beginner beginner series videos uh, along with the intermediate videos that we're doing. Those beginner beginner videos, which is a horrific name and I promise to change uh, later, uh, have to do with quieting your ship and I'm also going to put an overlay up so that you can see the controls that I'm inputting. So let's get started. Remember to keep those two concepts in your mind at all times when you're flying with flight assist off, not just when you're training. Um, those two concepts being Number one, use minimal input rather than overcorrecting. And number two, be aware of your speed and know your vector at all times. First up is smuggling. The first thing I want you to do is to get about 10K out of a starport. Doesn't matter what kind it is, as long as it has a slot and as long as it's spinning. We're gonna turn flight assist off if you don't have it off already. And in your stock sidewinder, we're gonna go to our right panel and we're gonna check off some things in here that generate heat. For our purposes in this exercise, we're going to check off the shield generator, cargo hatch, both pulse lasers, and the frame shift drive. We're not going to worry about silent running for this first run. We're just going to do a simple run with our thrusters and no shields. When you're ready, execute a boost and adjust your vector to target the slot. The goal here is to get that initial vector as close as possible so that you don't have to make adjustments when you actually enter into the slot. Remember, when you get within 7K, request docking from the station. Uh, access granted. Make your way to landing pad number 28. Even though the ship looks like it's sort of warbling about, I'm not actually making any adjustments yet. I haven't touched my thrusters since we fired and adjusted that initial vector. At the last moment possible, we will fire our positional thrusters and adjust through the slot. Once you're through the slot successfully, go ahead and land. Just a quick note, there's a lot of good videos out there on smuggling itself. This is going to be more of an application of smuggling for our purposes. We turned off these components on our right-hand display so that we could better manage our heat. This practice is going to become necessary, uh, not so much for the Sidewinder or for the stock Sidewinder, but it, it is definitely necessary with other ships and other builds, um, especially some of the bigger ships that you get into. 
This, of course, depends on the heat efficiency of the ship itself. Uh, but basically, turning these off is going to generate less heat for us so that when we actually go to silent running, we're going to have an easier time maintaining our heat control inside of our ship. Speaking of silent running, the next part of this exercise is going to incorporate silent running, toggling of thrusters, and toggling of life support. This is all to mimic what's going to happen in your ship if you have illicit cargo and you need to get through the slot. So we're going to turn life support off this time. That's going to give us a nice five minute timer in our upper right in order to get the docking finished. Also for this exercise, we're going to engage silent running. I definitely recommend mapping that key to something that you can easily access. We're also going to add one more variable to this exercise. We're going to shut our engines off once we establish our vector. So once you feel good on your vector, go to your right hand display and toggle off your thrusters. At this point, you will have effectively committed to a vector towards the station. You won't even be able to control your pitch, your roll, or your bank. Uh, approved for access. You are go for approach to pad 3 1. In a perfect world, we would toggle our engines on right before we hit and then make last minute adjustments. But for this first time through, I want you to toggle the engines on or your thrusters on a little bit beforehand so that you can get used to this concept. Once you're through the slot, don't forget to toggle off silent running or you will overheat. Also, a lot of times when you're doing these exercises, you'll find that you're coming through the slot really fast and sometimes your landing platform will be behind you. So go ahead and land again. Forget to toggle that life support back on after you land. For the next piece of this exercise, what we're going to do is acquire some illicit cargo. The best and easiest way, in my opinion, to do that is to accept a cargo transport mission and abandon it. The cargo will become illicit. Once you have your illicit cargo, we're going to undock. Make sure to do silent running out of the slot so that you don't get scanned when we're coming out of the slot. I do want to make a quick note about why we are doing this uh, or what it's actually calling to as far as flight assist off goes. We have a set of skills that we've been building up through exercises and now the goal is to stress those skills under different conditions. The more that we add on, the more things that we add on for you to do, um, the deeper those grooves, those sort of training grooves or those memories in your mind, those motor skills are going to develop. Also, to be honest, smuggling runs are just a lot of fun. I recommend just boosting out of the slot and waiting until you get around 10k away. You should be fine on the scans unless you're in a high security system and even then you're in a sidewinder so it's going to be pretty hard to pick you up. That said, I would keep silent running on until you get to around 9k. You can see as long as I have silent running on, the heat is continuing to build up in my ship. Warning, temperature critical. Once you feel you're at a comfortable distance, turn off silent running. And position yourself for the run. This time we're going to do exactly the same thing we did before, but this time it has consequences. Because we've turned off all those modules, including our thrusters, our heat is not building up as quickly as it would otherwise. As mentioned before, this is really critical with ships that don't have great heat distribution. Approved for access. Your assigned landing pad is number 
Once you're through the slot, turn off silent running. You don't really need to worry about your illicit cargo anymore as they won't scan you inside of the station. work through this part of this exercise iteratively, try to shorten the time that you need to use your thruster at the last moment. So wait even longer to turn it on. See how close you can get to the slot with no thruster operation before you really need to activate those thrusters. The final piece of this exercise that I want you to practice is coming in from behind the station. A lot of times you'll come out of Super Cruise at a really bad angle uh, in relation to the station. It, maybe you didn't get to line up appropriately when you were in Super Cruise or something else happened. During those moments, it's important to be able to trust your skills that they're going to do what you need them to do. Remember that as soon as you turn those thrusters off, you're not going to have the ability to not only reposition your ship with your strafe thrusters, you're not going to have the ability to pitch in any way or to use those thrusters uh, to see where you're going. So it's important to get that vector correct the first time. In order to not get scanned and to not get blown up by the station and the system authorities, you're going to want to make this docking procedure as quick as possible. Don't forget to do all these exercises in any of the proficiency videos in different ships. Try them out in different ships and different engineering builds and see how they challenge your skills. Okay, so next up is a seemingly simple task. Um, it's the last exercise of our beginner series and it serves as kind of a test for you to be able to prove to yourself what you've learned. It's a little bit more difficult than what you might think given what you're used to in the game if you're flying with flight assist on, but if you work at it, it'll pay off in the future. What you're going to do is get rid of your illicit cargo and get some legal cargo, one ton, two ton, doesn't matter. Undock from the station and go somewhere in the middle of nowhere and drop out of Super Cruise. The reason why we're doing it uh, not in an asteroid field and not near a station is because we don't want a point of reference. This is because a point of reference is going to make it a little bit easier to do what we have to do, which is cargo scooping. Go ahead and drop a ton of whatever cargo you've chosen. Once it's out there, we're going to move back from it a little bit. Move out about 1k from the canister and target it. This should be a familiar exercise for you with flight assist on if you've been flying with flight assist on for a little while. In flight assist off, it's surprisingly difficult and almost all of the students that I've seen attempt this on their first try don't get it right away. Let's go ahead and turn our oxygen off so we have five minutes to complete this exercise. For this first run through, we're going to keep our speed low uh, within the scoopable range to make it a little bit easier. Most of the time I see the same result when someone tries this for the first time. Uh, so don't feel bad uh, if you don't get it the first time. Just turn your oxygen back on and try it again. Or you can synthesize your oxygen now if you want. Um, 
in order to, to give it another shot. Um, the main problem that I see students have is that they start to pivot around the canister. Their vector isn't lined up exactly right. And that can cause some really strange positioning issues when you're dealing with something this small when you have no point of reference. Of course, when you finally scoop this, don't forget to turn your oxygen back on. For the next and final exercise and your test for this entire proficiency series, we're going to speed it up just a little bit. We're not going to go as fast as we can go, but we're going to go just a little bit faster so that we're above the scoopable range. Once you get to about 400 meters, start to decrease your speed. Come into the scoopable speed range, which is under 40. Scoop your cargo and celebrate by turning your oxygen back on. A seemingly simple task made a little bit more difficult with the addition of the oxygen timer and the use of flight assist off. If you have completed this and the other exercises, I want to be the absolute first person to congratulate you on a job well done. Making these videos has been amazing. Uh, I've had a lot of fun doing it. I've met a lot of really cool people. Uh, we now have, I think, almost 55 people in Newton's Gambit. That's apprentices, collaborators, and commanders. And we have our faction now in currently four systems. We just expanded into our fourth system. Um, I just want to thank everyone that has commented, that has watched, that's liked, that's made uh, suggestions. Um, and this is just the beginning for Newton's Gambit and the material that's going to be produced. You know, We wanted to get this beginner section out so that we'd have a good foundation to actually instruct on some things that are very specific to intermediate and to advanced topics. As I mentioned before in other videos, next up is our intermediate and advanced topics. They're going to be shorter videos. They're not going to be this huge opus of a thing that, that is in multiple pieces. They're going to be very targeted. Um, and we're going to invite some other commanders on to talk about their approaches to training with Flight Assist Off. Also, one of the things that I mentioned in this video as well earlier, uh, I'm going to be making some really introductory videos, uh, short videos, uh, to try to communicate and to sort of try to bridge that gap uh, to get people into the first proficiency video. Some people had some great ideas about some things that I could do to make it a little bit easier uh, to get into that first tethering exercise. Once again, thank you so much, Commanders, and I will see you next time.